is your starfish? That is my question for you today. I've been asked a few times about these starfish, <laughs> and maybe you've noticed them too. Well, there's actually a significance to these starfish, and they actually have something to do with seal social emotional artistic learning. Maybe you know this story. It goes a little something like this. A boy was walking along the beach where there were thousands of starfish all over the beach, and he was walking by all the starfish and just one by one throwing them back into the ocean. Now there was an old man and he was pondering what this boy was doing. And he actually went over to the boy and asked, what are you doing? How are you possibly going to do all this work and make a difference to these starfish? Well, the boy took one starfish and threw it back into the ocean saying, I made a difference to that one. Now as teachers, the story is pretty significant because in our career, we see thousands of starfish in our classrooms, in the hallways, and let's face it, sometimes we see kids out just in the world and we end up putting on our teacher hat, right? <laughs> the story really talks to the idea that we have this power and responsibility to really make a difference in our students' lives. Sometimes we know when that's happening, and oftentimes we don't. And sometimes it might even take years for us to know if we've actually made a difference in a child's life or not. But the thing is, we do. And we make that difference with our actions and our words as much as with the activities that we provide. So do you have a starfish? Let me know in the comments. One of my starfish was revealed to me just a couple of years ago when I was at the grocery store. A boy, actually a man, <laughs> Dan, was over by the lettuce when I recognized him. He immediately smiled and called my name. He had been a sixth grade music student of mine. So I went over and I caught up with him and that's when he told me the story of when he was in eighth grade. He said that year he had a teacher who he felt just didn't like him. You know, Dan was a little bit of an obnoxious eighth grader, you know. He even admitted it. <laughs> but he said that he remembered a time when he and I were chatting in the hallway before lunch and that the other teacher happened to be there as well. And whatever I had said to Dan or however I said it to him affected what that other teacher actually thought of him moving forward. He said from that day on, she started treating him a little nicer. What a nice thing to share, right? And the funny thing is that I don't even remember that conversation, but of course, that's not what matters. What matters is that he did, and it matters that it made a difference for him. It really is all about the small things that we do on a daily basis for our students, our kids, and with the adults around us that really can make a difference. Now, of course, sometimes we don't get to know the difference that we make in our students' lives, but our actions are certainly noticed. And it also works in the opposite way too. If we act or talk in a negative way or ignore those starfish, those students who need those small positive nudges, we are doing a great disservice to them. And believe me, I've been guilty of just that. That's why it's so important for us to remember that all the things that we do make a difference. And a big part of our job, especially now, is to make sure that what we're doing is positive <laughs> and that we are helping our students feel acknowledged and appreciated and validated for who they are and what they can contribute. Hey, I know, we all need that reminder every so often. That's part of the reason why I do these videos, to remind myself <laughs> as much as you. So I can't wait to see in the comments please leave a comment if you have a starfish or two. I look forward to reading all about them.